Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Life of Kenna. If you're new here, hi, hello. I'm Kenna. If you're coming back, hey, what's up, my dude? I'm so glad you decided to hang out with me today. So, lighting's a bit wonky. I'm sitting on my dog's kennel because that's a little weird angle. But as you can tell by today's video, I want to explain my aquarium. I only have a, um, fake plants in here just because I'm kind of like scared to get real plants. I'm doing research and hopefully can progress over to fake plants. Yeah. I've been, I'm MIA, I guess. It's been a while. Hey guys. <laughs> but, um, let's just get right into this video. I'm going to go over everything we need to clean out a tank that will make it successful. You can do a water change with a cup and a bowl, but that's going to take you forever. I suggest going to buy a bucket, a little bucket. This is only a 10 gallon tank. I am hoping to upgrade, so I'm watching my fish, they're so mean to each other. I'm hoping to upgrade to a 20 gallon. Hey guys, so I just wanted to um, put this little insert, I don't know if it's where it is going to be in the video, but I go to a pet store called Mark's Art. That's where I got my fish tank set up, and they're really knowledgeable on fish. They take care of their animals, but it's also like a exotics, exotic animal store, so it has a ton of different animals. I wanted to clarify, they take donations of fish, and so all you have to do is bring them in the fish that you don't want, and I'll show you the fish that I, but they weren't working out in my tank, they were too aggressive for other fish, and I didn't want my other fish to be stressed out, and I have a German blue ram, as you've seen, and um, I want to keep him as calm as possible, he was really stressed out for a little bit, and I just, you know, make that sad choice, but sometimes it's just a little Continue out. straight on, then use the right lane to bear right to merge onto I-215 East. happen like that where um, some fish work out better than others and so I'm just gonna get an additional three neon tetras to fill that spot that I want in my tank but also make sure all my fish are comfortable and make sure there's health out of them since I put those other fish in and it's only been about two or three weeks but just look like their health has declined and I don't want that anymore for my tank but and comment down below what kind of freshwater fish is your favorite this was like three four dollars at walmart really not that bad you're gonna want a trash bag there's a trash bag i highly suggest walmart has them for a bit cheaper than any of your pet stores do it's an aquaculture regular gravel vacuum cleaner so it's really easy i will show you guys how we use it i'll go over everything else before i get into that and then um, you're not really going to need one of these unless you take your fish out, but I recommend just cleaning the tank with the fish in it. You're going to want a bowl of water. If you have fake plants, I'm going to put the bowl of water and just kind of get off, take the fake plants, put it in the bowl of water and kind of get off some of the algae. Then this, this is my new Pride and Joy. So let me open this and show you guys what I got. It's off Amazon. It's like an aquarium escaping tools or something. I'll, I'll put the link below. I don't usually put the link below. So the first thing you have is like a um, gravel leveler, which has both sides. If you have real plants, trimmy trimmy. It comes with some scissors. And they're pretty sharp. Then they come with a angled, an angled tweezer, if you can see. Last but not least, it comes with just a normal set of tweezers. It's so you don't have to dunk your hand in the tank too far. And I will show you guys my fish probably after we're done cleaning. So we're going to set these all aside really quickly. I'm going to open this really quickly off camera. So. Okay, so we're back here. Kind of tilted. Moment. Stabilize you. It's still kind of tilted. My word, if I had a tripod, all these problems would go away. I'm going to quickly angle you so you can see me siphoning it out, come to the hose. This is where your bucket comes in. So give me one moment. Okay, so as you can see, I have turned the lights off so I can take the lid off. I'm going to keep, so I'm gonna have my bucket right here down below. And I'm gonna dip this into the water. Make sure this is, in the bucket 
done that and we've gotten water everywhere I'm going to go grab a towel um, make sure I didn't suck up any fish and then go dump this out so I will be right back <laughs> All the algae coming off. So I also, this is where a tweezer would be a great fit, so you're not reaching your hand all the way down there. So I do want to do a little bit of a different setup than what I do have. I don't normally do this, where I remove all the plants. But since it is so dirty, I want to make sure I get everything. Come over here, and we're literally going to shake. Just shake these plants out. Because they get nasties on them. And you guys will see the water afterwards. Just going to drop them down in there. This is one of the bigger, this is the biggest thing I have. nasty gucky stuff that my friend would have not been fun so I will be right back my camera keeps turning off because it keeps getting hot um, my back is hurting like a bee I will I'm gonna finish setting up the aquarium like the way I want it I want to use a substrate that can help grow plants. So I'm doing a lot of research and spending time doing that. This is my second aquarium. I had fish before, or I had goldfish before. It's the next level for me, and I really, t I really do love taking care of these fish. But it's important to do water changes all every week. So usually 10% since it's been a week and a half. I did a little, like I did half. This is fun. I love taking care of my fish. It makes me feel accomplished. But I will be back after I'm done setting up the tank and I will show you when I get the water in and like when it settles and what it looks like. So yeah. That process, I literally look psycho. That process took way too long to do. Just cause I, it just took way too long to do. I'm starving. It's currently, Five eleven. that took me about 30 minutes to get done. Literally, frustration only. <laughs> um, but here's the before. So you can kind of see oh, the lights right there. So here's what the setup looks like now. Okay, so you guys, it took me forever. So my X-ray Tetra, his name is Sharkbait. He's just chilling. I think he's sleeping. I fed him a little bit. Um, these are my new, or my two neon Tetras, named Bonnie and Clyde. So sweet. His coloring's a bit off. I think it's just the water change. My German blue ram. 
Black Lucifer. He's so sweet and cute. They're all chilling. I'm pretty sure he's sleeping. He's just chilling. But I am planning to um, get all the rest of the floaters out. It was a process. It took me a while. Um, I just got tired and lazy and didn't want to clean up my mess, but I did. You guys, I just want to express why it's so, 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 so important to make sure you have, you make sure, it's just like any pet, it's just like having a guinea pig, or birds, or anything that's alive, a snake, you need to make sure you take time out of your week to take care of them, clean up their cages. Fish are very minimal in day to day, however, over time, as you see, only a week and a half, it grew that much algae, so it's very important to make sure you wipe down your tanks and do water changes because it ends up being crystal clear, just like that, and it looks amazing. You guys, sorry, it's the next day, um, so I struggled a lot setting it up because when I dumped the water in, even though it took me like 25 minutes to like get the tools and like get the rocks over them, it's just probably because I don't have enough rocks, which is... Um, is my guess, you know, but, um, do you want to say morning? Do you say good morning? She's a baby. Um, if you haven't checked out my last video, it's all about Naomi. It's kind of ugly. I'll probably redo it. Let's get to see the tank. It's the next day. It's cycled through a little bit. The dust is settled, but... This is the most important reason why you need to take care of your fish because yes, they are a low maintenance day today, but I really highly suggest doing, highly suggest doing water changes every single week. That sounds like a pain in the butt, but if you are getting into it and you're new to it, it's definitely a little bit overwhelming, all the knowledge that you need to know, but at the end of the day, it's like knowledge that you just get to know. on the species that you're wanting to get. Neon tetras are really easy to take care of. X-ray tetras are same. And I love my German blue ram. He is beautiful. His coloring is immaculate. Always do your research. And I didn't do my research until after I got them, but I trusted my um, local fish store. And they really, really helped me. And all of their information is almost correct, which is insane. Like, nowadays it just feels like can't trust pet stores but that's besides the point. I just had an incident where I had to take back three fish because they were a little too aggressive with my neon tetras and the x-ray tetra be and I, I would rather have kept them than keep the aggressive fish so I had to take them back but they were more than willing to take them back. Very kind about it. Very cool exotic animal store called Mark's Ark. I'll link them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, just like and comment down below what you would like to see. Anyways, we have an amazing day. Peace out.